In fifth place, we have the Maylong 5x5M. It performs quite nicely, has reasonable corner cutting, um, but there is a slight risk of some unusual lockups that are quite easy to force and can lead to some pops, so that's why it's only in fifth place. It is, however, only £14 at speedkeeping.org, which puts it on the lower price range of 5x5s, but price isn't a factor in this top 5 countdown. In fourth place, we have the YJMGC 5x5. It's a nice, smooth 5x5, however, it is a bit unstable and inflexible which is why it's only in fourth place. It is slightly more than the Maylong 5x5 at £16, but as I said, that's not a factor in determining the pro, determining the ranking, and also it can have some quite easy to put it into a lockup like that, and probably a pop as well. In third place, we have the Chi MS 5x5. It's only £14, and it basically is somewhat of a Valk 5 feel, but it retains stability in a weird way. Slightly, slightly bumpy feeling, but it can you can hear it's quite different in sound, but it still feels really nice, and it won't have though doesn't have those weird lockups as easily or any pops. If it can't do a corner cut, it can't do it, and it doesn't try and, I mean it is possible to force it, but quite difficult. In second place, we have the Valk 5, which is probably the most stable of the cubes in this top 5 countdown, but is also the most expensive at £36. It has the corner cutting you'd expect of a good top quality 5x5, and doesn't well, it can do those weird lockups, but not as easily as some of the other ones. But it is probably yeah, the most stable of these, but slightly slower than the cube in first place, which will be revealed soon. But before we get on to first place, I'd like to give a few honourable mentions. So the first is the Wushuang M, which is almost four years old and still performs quite well just a bit slow. The second is the Maylong 5x5 non-magnetic being the best non-magnetic cube and only £8. Um, I can give honourable mentions to Yushin's two attempts, um, the Yushin Little Magic and the Yushin Huanglong. The Yushin Huanglong is very stable but not very fast even with loads of fast lube in it and also the youth Yu Chuang V2M just a, a bit slow and blocky but other than that quite a nice cube but in first place we have the Outchuang WRM has basically all the corner cutting you'd expect on a flagship 5x5 and is actually slightly cheaper than the Valk 5 at only £32 retains a stability but is faster than the Valk 5 making it a really nice feeling 5x5 everything just snapping into place because of the nice magnets it. so there we have it the top 5 best 5x5s Maylong 5x5M YJMGC 5x5 GMS 5x5 Valk 5 and Outchuang WRM I would recommend these three depending on your price range and what feel you like. So if you like a fast feel, get the Outrang WRM. If you want stability, then get the Valk 5. And if you don't have the money for either of the top two, then I would recommend the GMS 5x5. Unless you want specifically something small, in which case you can get the Mail on 5x5 at the same price.